Now, at least you think I'm just talking. The final deal here will be the individual that done God will. I'll go to Matthew 7 verse 21 to remind you again for judgment day. Before judgment day, because he said all this already. He says, many shall say, Lord, Lord, but they shall not enter into the kingdom. Those that have done the will of God will go in. If you've not promoted the kingdom, fulfill your purpose to promote God's will, you will be judged. You're a Christian. You didn't. In other words, you was like this man that received this talent and he did nothing with it. He hid it under the bed and Jesus says, you slowful and unprofitable servant. What? He called him a servant. You was a, but you didn't serve. You didn't do nothing with it. You accept me as my Lord, yes, your Lord and Savior and said all that about Christian stuff and all, but you didn't do my will. But this is going to be serious judgment day. When you stand before God the Father and his son, and they're going to judge you for what you did with this. And everybody, including me, is going to be judged that way. So I ain't just picking on you. Did you do his will? Or did you do your own thing and said I was all right? Wow. Huh? Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Okay, now he's already said that over and over, and he's been there over 2,000 years, so that's what he's going to judge from. Now, if you have not surrendered yourself to do his will. You can't do his will because of that sinful nature unless you surrender yourself. So you can stop making these excuses. Nobody will be able to do it. Without. It's not done by might nor by power, but by my spirit. My spirit is the only thing that can help you. Okay, one more, Elder. Let's see. Yet. Surrender is a battle term. Mm -hmm. It implies giving up all rights to the conqueror. When an opposing army surrenders, they lay down their arms, and the winners take control from then on. Surrendering to God works the same way. God has a plan for our lives, and surrendering to him means we set aside our own plans and eagerly seek his. I'm just putting it up in writing. I could, I could have said that. But sometimes people don't hear. You, when, if you're in a battle, you surrender to the... And let him conquer you. So you got to let him conquer you. If you don't let him conquer you, he ain't going to break your arm. Now he could. Or sometimes your life just cut short so you're not going to be able to do what you wanted anyway. Because you're not going to be here. Sometimes he do that. Because mm -hmm. he might catch you one day and you were, you were really serious about serving him and you was worshiping, you was thanking him. And that means the day you need to go home because the next day you're going to go back. Hello. So sometimes he'll do that. Sometimes he'll do that. Because so, he wants you to go to glory. He don't want you. But you won't stay here and live in sin, but that ain't happening. Because you know too much. You knew from a child, girl. And you ain't going to live your life like this. Because your mom and them are praying too much so they'll see you later and see you in heaven. So he take you. For their sake. Because he wants you to stay around here and make them so shame living like I don't know what. With that old generation curse to even come back and got you. And now you become a slut, a hoe, a thief. No good. Uh huh. So, so save you that heartache. So stop crying. It save you that heartache. So not, but you understand that in the by and by. But if you keep fooling with you 
And what you feel and what you think, you might not make it. So you got to surrender. I'm talking about surrendering everything now. So you, you got to surrender now. Because that song they got through singing a while, is he Lord of all? That's some good music yet. Lord of all. Well, put that on again. Is he Lord of all or not? Shut up then. Don't say that. Now you're going you're gonna to get peace when you agree with him. You're going to be excited. You're going to be stupid to yourself though. So I'm going to make you feel, you're, just, you're like, well, I'm just losing my mind. That's what you're supposed to do. Lose your mind. Surrender everything to him. The good news is that God's plan for us is always in our best interest, Jeremiah 29, 11. Uh -huh. Unlike our own plans that often lead to destruction, Proverbs 14, 12, mm -hmm. our Lord is a wise and beneficent victor. He conquers us to bless us. Do you understand that Jeremiah 29, verse 11, see, in other words, they got no better than you. It don't feel good, but he know. And you got to surrender because he's Lord of all. He's Lord of everything. He know everything. He got everything under control. But you still laying there trying to counsel him with your feelings and what you think. You're trying to counsel him, see? And he already got that. Got 10,000 years, boy, I already know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Amen. Good news. Living Bible in that scripture. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. There are plans for good and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. To give you a future and a hope. See, your plans don't have no future. They don't have no hope. See, you're only trying to help your partner. You ain't have no business even looking at me. You're only trying to help you, that's all, to keep you from assuming that, I, I said assume it. That's how bad it's going to be for you. That old curse that you don't know that your great, great, great grandfather and them did. So you don't know that curse that's behind. See, you got, you boy, boy Lord, some people don't do no family tree thing, you know. Because they don't really want to know how people do it. Oh, Lord. You start finding out you got some crooks in your family. That's generation curses. You, got, you, 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 you realize your papa was a rolling stone and all that. In your background right there. Huh? You see? God already know that. Proverbs 14, verse 12, just trying to get it by move. Come on, hurry. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Living Bible. Before every man there lies a wide and pleasant road that seems right, but ends in death. Message Bible. Got to get it. There is a way of life that looks harmless enough. Look again. It leads straight to hell. Oh. See, so you think, you, we from New Orleans, they say, they say all the time, there ain't nothing. Yes, this is. Oh, yeah, you see, it look harmless. You think I'm just getting up here week after week and week talking. This will destroy you. Make the wrong decision will destroy you. Too much. God got a better plan. 